Hey y'alls, so, last video, I showed you all the stuff that I use for Crit Pours. So, I'm going to show you how to dirty pour, and then I'm going to do a flip cup on the canvas. So, stay tuned. So, the stuff you're going to need is a red solo cup. I believe this is 12 ounce. Um, I have 3 ounces of paint of each color. Uh, so I have... Floetrol, water, glue, and silicone in each one. So, let's do this. So, um, I kind of want red on top. So, I'm going to start with black first. Alright. So, here we go. I hope this is enough paint. canvas I'm doing is quite a decent size, but I'm not meaning to flip anybody off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. So. I'm hoping this is enough paint. If not, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> I think that's the last of the purple I'm getting. I'm starting to get some cells. So this right here is a dirty pour. I'm going to add a little bit of black. There we go. Alright. I'm going to try to get some more red out of here. Not very much, but try it. So I hope this isn't muddy because I kind of tried to do dark colors. Alright. So that is the dirty pour. So I'm going to move you over to my little setup thing for canvas nails. <laughs> Don't mind my ugly toes, but here we go. So, I'm going to do a flip cup. So, I got a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I wrote the size because I'm going to an art show next month and I'm going to be selling them. Okay, so, I'm going to do a flip cup. Try not to move the paint around too much. I really hope this is enough paint. So, um, I used to, like, stir it around a little bit. I was told that that mixes it, like makes it a money pour. So, I can't really help the tripod legs in the way I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to try to fix this. Alright, so, I'm going to let it sit there a sec. So, I'm going to try to do a fast one when I lift it up. So, let's lift it back. I mean, so it doesn't look bad. So, I have a torch to attempt to get some bigger cells. Apparently it's not gonna really honestly, really. Of course right when I want to use it. It doesn't uh there we go. Alright. So I'm gonna let this sit for a couple minutes and I'll get back to you. So I let it sit for like three minutes. So I'm going to try to do a fast one. So this canvas is not prepped. I, um, they're like pre-prepped canvases. I know you should probably pour paint on it to make it flow easier. But I just kind of, I just kind of did. <laughs> okay, so. Ooh, look at the cells popping up. Really hope this is enough paint. Ooh, I like that. Alright. So, I'm going to try to move the tripod back a little bit so I can get some wiggle room. Alright. So, we're going to try to. Pour off the edges a little bit. Yeah, 
it was funny enough part. Yay, I finally did one right. <laughs> That is so pretty. I'm gonna try to get the end a little bit. Don't wanna touch it too much. Trying to get this end a little bit. I love that. Alright. So, I'm going to take these gloves off because that was squishy. That was very squishy. Alright. Come on, church. Cooperate. I don't have very much light to do with anyway, so. Oh, yes. Yes. I love this. This is my favorite one now. You kind of have to do it really fast so the paint doesn't like start to melt. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. She's so pretty. Sorry, I'm just over here thinking. <laughs> Gosh, that's so pretty. <sighs> okay. All right, well, that's that. There's not really much to explain. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you like this part, because I do. So, I'm going to do a close-up. So, let me wash my hands off real quick, and I'll be back with you. All right, so, here we go. We've got some pretty cells. 